I'm having an end of summer get together with a few friends and my brothers, and I thought I'd celebrate by cooking a leg of lamb over a fire. It's a beautiful piece of lamb that I marinated last night. Here's what I did. First, I put a two and a half kilo organic leg of lamb into a dish. Then I put a head of garlic in a pestle and mortar, along with two teaspoons of coriander seeds and a tablespoon of salt and roughly bashed it together. Then I added chopped bay, rosemary, thyme and sage, the zest and juice of three lemons, a teaspoon of black pepper, and ground it again to form a rough paste with a generous glug of olive oil. Next, I scored the lamb, poured on the marinade, and massaged it into the crevices. Then I flipped the lamb, did the same to the other side, covered it with parchment, and put it in the fridge overnight to work its magic. So I'm spit roasting the lamb, that classic old technique, and I'm gonna skewer the leg from end to end, and it just enables me to turn it and cook it really slowly over the fire, which is gonna create a lovely, smoky, kind of caramelized exterior. I'm putting in a couple of extra skewers just to help it stay straight. And I'm gonna turn it every 15 minutes or so, cook it for the next two or three hours. And then here I've got a brine, which is a salt water with lots of lemon juice in it too for flavor. And this is gonna help keep the lamb really juicy and season it as I baste it every now and again. <laughs> and it's a herby brush that I'm using, so rosemary and bay leaves here that are also gonna add a lot of flavor too. So half an hour in, I'll turn and baste it and do the same two more times. This lamb is just looking beautiful. I think just feeling it, it's nearly there. I want it nice and pink in the middle. Little baste. And I'm going to go and get the sides ready. I'm making some really simple sides. A tahini sauce with lots of garlic and cumin. And this Turkish red onion and parsley salad with sumac. So to start, you want to really thinly slice these red onions and then get them in a bowl. And I'm going to use some lemon juice to kind of quick pickle them that acidity of the lemon is gonna kind of cut through and cook out the rawness. So get half a lemon and squeeze that over and then get a generous pinch of salt in there. And I'm gonna crack on with this parsley. This is a really traditional Turkish salad. And then the last ingredient is sumac that is kind of smoky, sweet, acidic. Oh. Now the tahini sauce. So this starts with the same trick of using the lemon. This time it's with garlic. And it's amazing what lemon does to garlic. That just needs to sit for 10 minutes for the lemon to work its magic. While I wait, I'll tip a teaspoon of cumin seeds that I toasted in a pan to release their flavors into a pestle and mortar with a pinch of salt and grind them together. By now, the garlic has relaxed in the lemon juice. So I'll add four tablespoons of tahini, then pour in three tablespoons of cold water, add the cumin salt, and give it a final mix. This tahini sauce is beautiful. Mm. <laughs> so the lamb's finished cooking. It took about three hours. It's looking delicious. Everyone's here, which is lovely. Joss, you crack on and warm up those flatbreads. I'm going to get carving. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm. Wow, it's perfect. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So good. And the tahini sauce is amazing. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.